It's over, Joe. I've had it. I refuse to put up with it anymore. My lawyer will be contacting you. You don't even care. I'll get one. Hello. We're calling in your neighborhood to tell people that the Bible has solutions for the problems in the world today. You know, we have divorce, broken homes, and sorrow all around us. But God has promised us a wonderful new world in which we will all be happy. If you have a few moments, we'd like to step in and demonstrate our free home Bible study. Well, <laughs> the Bible study is uh, free. There's no obligation. Yeah, all right. Come on in. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, did you like a beer? Uh, no, thank you. No. <laughs> I guess not. Well, let's uh, let's get acquainted. Uh, I'm Leo Stern, and this is uh, Ralph James. How do you do? And you're uh, Joe. Joe Simpson. Well, Joe, uh, do you have a Bible of your own? Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, the reason it's hard for many people to understand the Bible is because of the archaic English used. Uh, this modern version will make it much easier. What we'll do is to read a paragraph from this book and then answer the question at the bottom of the page and then look up the scripture cited in your new Bible. <clears throat> okay. see from scripture in heaven Jesus was Michael the archangel and then he became the man Jesus on earth he lived a perfect life redeemed us and after his resurrection by Jehovah God he again became Michael the archangel in heaven oh hi Stan this is Joe Simpson hi Joe glad to meet you I I've heard you're in need of a job yeah that's right all right, I can put you on with my carpet cleaning crew. Really? You bet. Oh, great. Okay, okay. I'll talk to you Nice after. talking to you. Thanks. Who are you? Well, I think you're right, Stan. I want to commend you on your good progress with our studies. However, knowing that the time is short before Armageddon, you need to grow stronger in Jehovah's organization. 
I want to enroll you in the Kingdom Ministry School and uh, train you for the door-to-door -door work so that you'll be sure to be found in Jehovah's favor at Armageddon. I just don't know if I can, Leo. Hmm? I, I know Jehovah requires this of me. I know I have to work out my salvation in his organization. So, I'll try. But Good. I'm very nervous about it. I'm going to be reading from the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verses 13 through 16. For God is the one that, for the sake of his good pleasure, is acting within you in order for you both to will and to act. Keep doing all things free from mum... Um. Hello. We're calling briefly in your neighborhood to share with you a couple of articles from our latest magazines, from The Awake and The Watchtower. This one has a very interesting article. It's called, What is the Purpose of Life? Isn't that what everyone wants to know? Soon I could do presentations at the ministry school without stuttering and felt I was getting good training for going out in the field service. Brother Leo was a great encouragement to me and everyone was very kind and helpful. Thank you. Would you like to make a contribution of 70 cents? Certainly. Soon the day came when Brother Leo took me out doing magazine work. I was sure I wouldn't do well, but the very first morning, a nice lady took the magazines and Brother Leo showed me how to fill out the territory card. Mm -hmm. That's Very it. good. That's it. Okay. Shortly after, I attended a circuit assembly and was baptized in symbol of my dedication to Jehovah and his organization. Now I really was a recognized Jehovah's Witness with Jehovah God as my father and his visible organization as my mother. I really had a new family, just as Leo had promised. Well, I wrote to Brenda and I told her about my faith in Jehovah and the organization and Armageddon and everything, but she's not interested. She says she's moving away and taking Lisa so that I won't be able to influence her. Well, remember, Joe, we're in her family now. You know, many times Jehovah provides us a new wife and a new family in his organization. Just look at us, Joe. Both our former mates refused to become Jehovah's Witnesses when we did. Now, our marriages broke up over it, but it didn't take us long to find each other in Jehovah's organization. And now we have a strong witness family. Would you like to be my Uncle Joe? <laughs> briefly to offer you these two latest magazines. This one has an interesting article. Look, I don't need this. I'm saved, and I'm perfectly happy in my own religion. Most ministry calls were routine, but a few of them stand out in my memory. Excuse me, sir. We're calling briefly in your neighborhood to share with you our latest Awake magazine. Now, this one has a... Okay. It has a very interesting article... Thank you very much, sir. I was proud to be persecuted for righteousness' sake, and it just proved to me that we were really in the truth. Excuse me, sir, we're calling briefly. Would you mind if we just kind of left that there for you? We can come back another time. The true servant of Jehovah must be prepared to be fearless in service. Good day. We're calling briefly in your neighborhood with... Stay, stay, boy. Stay, stay. Oh. 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 In times like this, we must remember that he who endures to the end is the one that will be saved. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I want to pray for the Jehovah's Witnesses that are going door to door in my neighborhood. I pray, Lord, that I will be able to give a good witness to them. And Lord, I pray that they will really be able to see Jesus Christ in me and that I can show them your love.
Uh, good morning. Uh, we're calling briefly on you and your neighbors to share with you God's promise of a righteous new earth. Well, I'm so glad you've come. My name's Beverly Williams, and your name is? Joe Simpson, and this is my friend George Littlewood. Hello. Uh, as I was saying, God has promised us a wonderful new earth. Uh, did you know that this promise was in the Bible? Oh, please go on. Uh, Psalms 37, 10, 11 reads this way. And just a little while longer, and the wicked one will be no more. And you will certainly give attention to his place, and he will not be. But the meek ones themselves will possess the earth, and they will indeed find their exquisite delight in the abundance of peace. So you can see, Mrs. Williams, that soon all the wicked will be gone, and only the meek will remain. Please go on. Um, Revelation chapter... 21 promises new heavens and a new earth and uh, look here at verse 4 and he will wipe out every tear from their eyes and death will be no more neither will mourning nor outcry nor pain be anymore the former things have passed away I'd like to offer you this book you can live forever in paradise on earth uh, along with a free home Bible study I'd be happy to take your book in a moment, but I wondered if, first of all, I could ask both of you a question. You've come to my door because you really believe you're in the true faith. Is this right? Yes, we do believe we are in the only true faith because we are persecuted for our work of publishing the good news of the kingdom. Well, you know, you were so kind to share a couple of scriptures with